just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the Pungasides gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for Punga fruit to trade. <laughs> Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under citizen's arrest, sort of. Yeah, he seemed nice enough, didn't he? I wouldn't have figured it out if I hadn't snuck into his engine room while waiting for you. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love. Preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn, if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. Think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. There's not much to say. I ran off from home to see the world and find a fortune. And I'm doing it now, okay? Now that I've got this sweet boat, I guess I can head back home. For a while, anyway. Just wait till Mom sees the haul I'm bringing home. Yeah, enough gabbing. Let's move. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another. Look what we have here. Oh. We having fun yet?
if it isn't our hero. Yes, thank you so much. And now that she's got this boat and carrying all this cargo, well, I can afford to actually pay you. Thank you so much. Thank you.
Hey, you okay? You all right? About time you woke up. I was starting to think maybe they'd fried your brains or something. You got a headache, right? Don't worry, that'll get better. I don't know if it'll matter, but it'll get better. They must really like you. At least they let me keep my clothes. Looks like they stripped you of everything. Me, I'm the same as you, I figure. Went poking around someplace I shouldn't have, and now I'm paying for it. So you and me, we're stuck here until they decide they want to prod us some more or worse. Man, I can't believe this. This is what you call, what is it, irony? Hell, I don't know. You've got it all wrong, kid. You're in here with me. This is my little slice of heaven, not yours. Not a good time for jokes, I guess. Look, I don't know why they put you in here with me. Maybe it's another experiment. Not like I can ask them to find out. But since you asked, name Soma. Beyond that, I'm thinking not much matters if we're gonna stay stuck in here. Your guess is as good as mine. I can't understand what they're saying. I don't remember half of what they did to me. And that might be a good thing. I know we ain't the only ones. There's a whole bunch of us in here. They'll pluck folks out every now and then. Sometimes they bring them back, sometimes they don't. Either way, I ain't keen to find out what they're doing. I've been here for a little while, but haven't found a way to... Shit, you hear that? It's coming again. It's back against the wall now. coming for us. I'm thinking maybe now you can understand it's a good idea to get the hell out of here? What, you've never seen a giant metal claw scoop somebody up and carry them off to who knows where? I don't know where they're taking him, and I'm not interested in staying here long enough to find out. We gotta get out of here, kid, now. Okay, yeah, let's do something about getting out. Well, there ain't no easy way out, trust me. I've looked. Can't even find anything to pry open, see what's blocking the doorway. I'm thinking they did us a favor, putting us together in here like this. And I say we use it to our advantage. They're keeping an eye on us, you know. Watching us. So I say we give them a little show. Give them a reason to pay a little extra attention to us. They want us alive for something knows what point is if it looks like one of us is gonna kill the other they'll step in to stop it so that's what we do we throw a few punches make it look real and then jump them when they come in to break it up hell if I know but at least it's a start it's better than sitting here waiting for them to experiment on us even more Hey, whoa now. Let's not go down that road, sweetie. Take a second and think before you start saying stuff that'll get you killed. I'm telling you, we're gonna have to work together. You keep talking like this, and I'm gonna have to get out of here on my own after I put you down. So are you in, or what? All right, I'll hold back on you. Make sure you don't get too roughed up, okay? And you be ready. Soon as they come in to get us, you take them down. 
Come on, make it look real. Too hard. Huh. Hey, kid, be careful. Okay, now. Grab anything useful and let's go. Who knows how long it'll be before they send or after us. Show you if so you we're want. Still creating our own library catalog entries before we get put into a giant collection. Great. The entire experience would be fascinating if I weren't so completely terrified. Great. Just well, so talk. much for that idea. I, I don't have to he do anything suckled else. you good. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. All right. No. I said all right. Just stop. Hello. See? Um, I told hello. you I could help. My name is Andrew Endicott. On the night of May 17th, the year of our Lord 1697. Sure. I love I was, exploring, and it's been a while since I've been out and about. From my home, we'll have to be Salem careful. Village. I guess they'll be mad I, that we're out. But it's I okay. Know where I, I know am how to get through the exactly. steamworks. We need to I get to the to big here. engine room so I can show I've you the rest of the ship. Let's go. Windows, the stars, and sun, and beloved. I don't Earth. have any family anymore. Down there below My me. mom and dad died a while so ago before I ended I up here. Some you know, that's vessel, when all the bombs dropped on everything. In the ether. Yeah, it was right after that. And then me and my so sister, we got pulled I up here. Except, 
I but this is not in heaven, long time. and my captors are not angels. Sure. Not entirely we need to go to the big engine thing, and then from there we can go up to the top of the ship. That's where the guy in charge is. I've only seen devils. him once or twice. Demons He's from my nightmares. Mean. I guess Even you'll probably now, have to kill him or something, me. huh? Make me talk. Oh, they I've been here a while. Want me a to long while. Sometimes I, I can sneak why. out of my cell and go explore. A I've seen a deeds, bunch perhaps? of the ship. It's pretty neat. Just a pawn they some, always catch me and put me back game. here. And there are others, other... Okay, captains. come on! From whence they came, I cannot say. Some wear strange dress, as if they are from a different time. And some are frozen, as in ice, unmoving, but... I think, alive. I believe they plan the same fate for me. Will I be frozen too? Will I? Oh, stop it. I did what you said. You wanted me to talk, so I talked. Just leave me. Leave me be. More of them coming. Listen, I know how this shit works. We all go together, and we all get wiped out at the same time. No offense, but I'm gonna hang back for a bit. You need someone to keep an eye out behind you anyway. Don't worry, I'll catch up with you soon enough. up any minute now. I just need to wake up. I'll wake up. Nope. Nope. Not real. None of it is real. Can't hurt me if...
Stay here until it's Okay, I'll show you what I found. If you want to get out of here, I think it'll help. Come on, follow me. Aw, oh, nuts. They turned it off! Last time I was here, I used this to get to the top of the ship. It's kind of like an elevator, only it doesn't just go up and down. Feels sort of tingly, too. They must be pretty angry that we're exploring. Oh, I know. Come on, I know another way up. So, this is it. Pretty neat, huh? I've never had the courage to wake them up. But I think you're going to need to. The spaceman has a suit, and we need him to use it. Well, because he's got a space suit. Can't go out in space without one. And if we're going to escape, we need to go outside. If they turn off the elevator things, that's the only other way to go. So we need a suit. See? Simple. I've seen these all over. They put people in them, and the people go to sleep. They stay asleep for a really long time, too. Be careful if you touch them, though. They're really cold. I don't know. I've never talked to them. Sometimes I'd come and look at them and wonder why they're dressed like that. You see that one guy? He has this really neat suit on, like armor or something. And that other guy? He looks just like a cowboy. 
I saw pictures of cowboys in books. I never saw a real one, though. This is going to be so neat! <laughs>